everyone. Today I want to talk to you about how the seasons and weather affects your cost per lead, okay? Um, not only your cost per lead, but also the quality of the leads that you're sending on to your clients. Um, if you're watching this video for the first time and it's the first time you've seen me, um, uh, I need to explain that I run a uh, a, a pay per lead agency out of the south of England and we, we sell leads to clients on a pay per lead basis um, and that's our business model. We generate them for X and sell them for more than 2X. Um, it's a really simple model, it works great but there's times when things get more expensive and things change that are out of your control and the reason I'm recording this video now is because I'm baking hot, I'm in my office here um, in the south of England, it's 30 plus degrees. It feels like it's about 40 in here. Um, I'm loving it, but you know, I'm an Aussie. All the rest of my staff are kind of like um, gagging on ice creams and stuff at the moment because it's too hot for them. <laughs> um, but anyway, I wanted to, you know, this is real time stuff for me because I've been on the phone to my clients today and um, you know, they're saying to me, Dan, what's going on? The contact rates are really, really low. Okay, and by contact rates, I mean if we supply 100 leads to a client in one of our verticals, we usually expect at least 50% to pick up the phone, right? Um, but today, I've just had an email like literally uh, 15 seconds ago, well not that long, 15 minutes ago, that said, um, um, you know, our contact rates have been 29% today. And why do you think that is? It's because people are still, you know, on their phones and putting in their, their details, but they're probably out, you know, going for a walk with their kids or they could be at the beach and they, you know, they're out and about, they're doing social things, right? They're not holed up at home in their living room, bored with nothing to do when, it, when it's raining outside. If people are more active and they've got more stuff to do, they're in a better mood, they don't want to be kind of sold to. I suspect, right? That makes sense. So what, what you'll notice if there's, you know, the opposite, if things get really um, cold and windy and no one wants to leave home, then you'll find that your contact rates go up. And that's in, in, important to know because when you're speaking to your clients or when you're running an agency like ours and you get about this kind of stuff. And on the other hand, on the flip side, if things are going exceptionally well, it could be because of something that's going on with the weather or, you know, to an extreme extent, you could be running ads over Black Friday. Um, I think it's in November, isn't it? When, when uh, Amazon and all these guys have their massive e-commerce sales. Sometimes we just shut up shop during those four or five days because it's just so expensive to advertise on Facebook, on Google, etc. So the seasons, um, the competitive nature of media buying affects things like this and you need to be able to go with the ups and downs and, and, and try and keep your mind and your mindset as level as possible. Um, I hope that helps. It, it might be something that you haven't experienced before but when you think about it, it's, it's quite logical. So enjoy if you want to find out more about how we run a paper lead agency then there'll be a link to uh, the case study below this video which will uh, tell you how we, how we do it, basically. So enjoy, catch you later.